Hello everyone, welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro. I'm Mark and in this video we're going to be taking a bit of a deeper dive into setting up an IP camera and connecting it to APT. Um, this will cover actually configuring the camera so it can be connected and then going through and connecting it up into APT. So keep this short as I can, we better get straight into it. Now this is the camera I chose. There were several things I was looking at when I was selecting a camera. Uh, the first thing was possibility of power over Ethernet. I don't use that at the moment, but it could be something important to you. Uh, the night vision was uh, very important because you're going to be watching your gear at night. And I wanted one that didn't have spotlights on it. Um, that's sort of going to muck up your astro imaging if it suddenly starts turning spotlights on in the middle of the night this one uses infrared for night vision and that's fine it'll work just perfect for me and the other thing you need to look for is get into the specs and go down you're looking for the correct protocol you, you need and that's this one here the RTSP real-time streaming protocol be sure your camera supports that because that's how other devices connect to it so you need to make sure it supports that but once you've got that and you've got a camera you're happy with, like I said, this one was nice and cheap, so I bought it and been done with it, you'll need to get a bit of software to go with it. Now, the Rio Link site takes you to your local site or whatever it considers your local site. As you can see, this is Australia. So it'll also take you to different ones for your support and everything. But to get to the uh, app you need, the program you need, you go on the support, download center, app and client and this gives you access to both a windows client and there is also an, a uh, smartphone one i have not tried but uh, you could look at them and see how they go they should work very similar to what i'm going to show you so i downloaded the windows client and installed that on the computer so windows but you can try the smartphone clients or the mac client and see how you go so that's what you do need what you may need um, or may want to get is this other little program here um, where are we ODM um, device manager for on VIF based network video devices and this is another program that you can connect to your camera with um, it can give you some information you might want to get for APT it isn't necessary because uh, you can find the information in other ways but this just makes a copy and paste for you if you want to do it that way. As I said, this is not needed, but you may want to do it. Um, just you know, something extra to test you've got everything right. So once we've got you've got them downloaded, uh, you then need to install them. And I think we'll start out. The one you need to run is the Rio Link client. Okay, now the one program you do need to run is the Rio Link client. Uh, I've, like as I've said, I've downloaded and installed these already. I'll leave those all up to you. Um, so we'll just double click on this to launch it. The first time you launch it, you will get the uh, pop up to allow it through your firewall or network um, and to agree to their user policy. And the other thing you'll get is it will ask you for a username and password. And once that's all done, you're into it. Now, first thing see as you can see that's what it looks like outside with the infrared lights on uh, quite glary at the moment um, but you can turn them off depending on your location now the first thing you can do is right click on this little one here and go to rename and with that you can actually rename the display as you see it displays down the bottom down here astro monitor so whatever you enter in here will be displayed on the screen so I'm going to, just going to cancel out of that. That comes in handy if you have multiple cameras and you only want to have one of them at a time. So you can pick up which one you're connecting to. So the next thing you need to do is go into your settings up here. Same button. Just left click on it instead of right click. Uh, you can pick where you want to display everything. Um, by default the watermark is turned on. And what that gives you is a Rio Link watermark on your video. Um, I don't see any reason to advertise them. Oh, it's not going to come up until I hit reset, is it? Oh, it comes up eventually. Oh, no, there it is. Up the top here, you get that. They're not paying me any money to advertise them, so I leave it off. Um, 
if you need to flip the image and anything else you can do it in here I haven't tried the anti flicker I'm not really worried about it um, so, um, all these here are for your various settings for it you can put on motion detection and everything else but none of this is relevant to APT the only thing you might be interested in if you live in an area like there's lights going on at the moment here as you can see that's a very 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 bright image so if I'm out at a dark site that'll be fine um, it won't be so bright but if you're in an urban area and you want it to uh, leave it off um, so it's not so bright you can turn it off like that and you'll see I mean with this street light here and everything else that provides ample light for me to see what's going on outside here so I'm going to leave that off now because I do not need the infrared and it chews less power as well not much but you know so you might want to turn the lights off especially if you're in an area with uh, lights around so you can see what's going on um, so I'm going to leave it in that the next thing you need to do is perhaps go into your system and set up the time and date and that's basically going into this setup one here and putting in all the appropriate details for your time zone daylight savings and everything else same as basically anything else and I'll cancel out of that you can set your date format and the time format and when you want to synchronize the time uh, that's set up in your other settings um, down the bottom here is your synchronize um, how often it synchronizes and everything else so it keeps it up to date but that's all you need to do there that gets it on the right time so that's all we need if you want to create an, a separate user account um, this is the admin account which has full control it can change the settings I've got a user account set up here for me uh, this is the one I'll be using in APT so and they can't change any settings or anything else that can just access the camera now the important settings network you need to go you must go in there okay so it tells you it's connected you can get your uh, connection information um, important thing you need here is first off is your IP address for the camera and that's it there um, make a note of that if you need to I'll show you an easier way to get your link you need later on but if you're not going to do it that way you need to know what your IP address is and so then we go into the advanced part so don't worry about any of these top ones um, the only thing you need to worry about is to go into your server settings and in here except for the basic one here which is your normal running one all these by default are turned off now the HTTP and HTTPS that's to allow you to access this through a web interface it's exactly the same basically as what you get here it's just access through your web browser you can turn them on or not they're up to you the ones you do need are these bottom twos so the RTSP the real-time streaming protocol you need that and you're on with oh, car going past and the one you need to take note of is this one here this port number that's your port number for that you need to know that to connect to APT so that's everything you really need to worry about in here um, if you've done all that like I said make sure you turn on these bottom ones you're set to go so now I can close <coughs> pardon me I can close that one out and I can close that one down and I'll be right back to have a look at ODM and see what it can do for you oh, sorry about that I had to get out had a coughing fit come along okay so now we move on to the next part and we're going to take a look at ODM uh, this is just a uh, open source uh, program doesn't cost you anything and double click on it to run uh, you'll get this every time you start it up you'll get this and this is what it is okay the first time you start it up um, it won't be doing anything uh, simply because you haven't entered a username and password and you need to enter that to log into the camera so what I'll do here is SCAA and the password um, I've got to remember what the password was 
Uh, oh, I spelled did, did it wrong anyway. How's that? It should be that one. I think that's it. And then click login. And then it'll reload. <laughs> click on the camera up here. And it gives you live video. So you can go into your live video. Now, while this gives you access to things like your maintenance and everything else, you cannot do anything simply because oh, you can do a bit in there. Um, can't add or use or anything else. You can't do it. They can only change. You can only change your own settings here. Um, be simply because you're not logged in as a an admin. But what you do get here is your video, and you can go live video. So that shows you it is accessible through other programs, which is good. Now the important thing you can get from this to save you having to uh, remember things is down here. You have the actual address you need to access the camera. So I'm going to go through now and copy that. You only need up to the 554 there. So Control C. That's done. And that's all you really need. To, like I said, that's the simple way to get the actual address you need for logging in. So I'm going to log out and close this down. So that's it. That's all I used ODM for. Uh, it's just a simple way to get the address. So next we're going to take a quick look at setting this up in APT. Okay, now that we've got everything configured, setting this up in APT is quite simple, really. Now, first of all, you start up APT. Okay, I'm going to hold down shift while it starts. I don't need to load everything else up. Hell, none of it's connected anyway. <laughs> okay, so I'm into that now. What you need to do is go into your gear tab and web cameras. As you can see, nothing comes up because we haven't set anything up. Okay, defaults to a USB web camera. So what I want to do is connect an IP camera. Now I'm just going to paste the address we copied from O&D. So Control V. Now, this camera, like most cameras, as I said before, need a path, username and password. And what you need to do with this is add that to this path. Otherwise, you will not be able to connect. So you simply go in after the double forward slash, uh, type in your username. Okay, so SCAA, put a colon, and then your password. So M1. Okay, so that's that done there. And after that, you need an at symbol. Uh, okay, so that's telling it to use this username and night and password to connect to that particular address. Then you have two options. You have flip image, um, which will flip the image if needed. Um, don't worry about that at the moment. You'll know after you've started. And then the other one is the interesting one, which is keep connection. With this done um, and turned on, what happens is when you close the window, the camera will remain connected so that when you close it and reopen the window, the camera is still running. If you have this unconnected, when you close the window, the connection goes. When you open the window, the connection reconnects. Now, it's fine to have it on. The issue, only issue I have with it is that if you have that turned on, when you start APT, your camera connection will start automatically and your camera screen will come up on your screen. So that's up to you. I'm leaving it off for now. But once you're happy you've got yourself set up with the correct path, with your username and password, simply click, uh, click on OK. So it takes a couple of seconds here. And bingo. Bit small, isn't it? Well, let's just stretch it out a bit and see what we get. So you can resize it to whatever you need. And there you go. You are connected to your camera. As I said, you know, depending on what settings you use, um, like at the moment, that's connected, so it's opened. Uh, if I close it, the connection's closed. Go back into it, and the connection will open again. So that's the disadvantage of having it 
uh, not on keep connection simply it'll just take a little bit longer to come up each time if you want to keep it open as I said just keep connection and that way even with it minimizes as you see down here it does not close open it up and it's straight back on so that one's up to you and just remember like I said with with keep connection this will pop up when you start APT no matter what you do so I'll close that there and close APT just to show you this one and then restart APT hold down I and mean, if you hold down the shift it doesn't stop this happening so I'm holding down shift getting in there bingo connected again so that's the only issue I have uh, with this I'd, I'd prefer to have a connect and disconnect button like you do have on most other things or an auto connect so yeah you know, when you've got your things like your you know, ports and hub where you can have auto connect and a connect and disconnect maybe I'll think about that one but uh, yeah so keep connection will do this for you it will open that try or at least try and open it up every time I don't know how it reacts when the camera's not connected if the camera's not powered up <laughs> I might test that later but not right now but that's it that's how you set up your IP camera and get it connected through APT I hope you've all found this very very useful um, I had a lot of trouble figuring it out originally mind, mind you I only got the uh, camera the other day tell you what this doesn't do too bad as you can see it's a bit of cloud over this way but you can just see the southern cross up in the corner up here uh, just coming up so this still a lot of cloud out there I'm not going to get any imaging done I'm going to go to bed shortly it's after midnight so okay I hope you enjoyed this and I will chat to you all in another video wishes all clear skies and take care all